fresh food only lasts so long. To help these women get more from their harvest, soldiers from the Kentucky Agriculture Development Team worked with Capisa province leaders to find a better way to preserve their crops. We chose solar food drying because it was so sustainable. Once that food is dried and it's packaged, uh, the, light, the shelf life of it is much longer, so this provides a higher caloric intake during the winter months. The solar drying program reduces the amount of food lost at spoilage. This is the best way to save our food and also our vegetables, and we're using it. We start by washing the vegetables out first, and after that, we drain the water and let them dry a little bit. Then we're going to set them on those racks, the drying racks, and then we bring them out here and put these racks into the solar food dryer. And then we're going to let it dry, and it's going to be very successful for us in Afghanistan. The women are really interested. They keep asking why we didn't tell them before about this. And now they say it's their responsibility to go back to the village and talk to the rest of the people and provide this solar system to the benefit of the village. These women see their future in this program as well. They hope to expand beyond the Afghan market and sell their dried food internationally. If you made your mother-in-law happy, then that is a big success. Air Force Staff Sergeant Rebecca Goodwin, Kapisa, Afghanistan.